Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the electives that we've chosen for the 2023-2024 homeschool year. This video is a part of a collaboration hosted by Daveen over at Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. So you wanna make sure that when you're done with my video that you check out the playlist that's linked down below and you see all the other mamas and what they are gonna be using for electives. One thing to know about this playlist is we have one for almost every subject. I know we've covered math, we've covered language arts, we've covered, what was it, family subjects? We've covered all kinds of things. So if you're looking for curriculum ideas or you just wanna see what everybody's using, then you definitely need to go check out this playlist. But like I said, we're talking about electives today, so let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, we love unit studies. That is the core of our curriculum. We do not change that. We've been using unit studies since my son was in the fifth grade and next year he'll be going into high school and we are just gonna keep going with our unit studies because that's how he learns best and we're not gonna change it. So as far as electives go, yes, they're gonna be unit studies. You don't have to use these as electives or count them as electives because they include all subjects. But when it comes time for transcripts and earning credits, they are gonna to go towards an elective credit. The first thing I have, and I don't have it all printed out yet, mainly because I just don't need it right now. We won't need it until later into the homeschool year. But one of the things that we are using as an elective is with the skills of car maintenance by Campfire Curriculums. We love Campfire Curriculums. They are a um, Charlotte Mason inspired literature based. It's amazing, okay? So they're, they're written so well. They are written in a story form. They're very easy to follow. You really get into the story, but you learn so, so much. And so we're gonna be doing this one next year because knowing how to take care of your car is a life skill for boys and for girls. So even if you have girls, don't think they don't need to take care of their car. They need to know these things too. And so within this unit, you follow the story of this grandpa who's retired and he just has all this wisdom of how to take care of a car and he's teaching his grandson how to do these things. So within the unit, they're gonna walk you through how to do it, but also give you the why. Why do we need to do these things? You're gonna learn things like how to check your brakes and wipers and changing a tire and all those things that you need to know in order to maintain your car. And I feel like I'm gonna learn so much. My poor sweet daddy tried to teach me all these things, but he has two girls and we weren't really interested. But I think it's gonna be perfect for my son. I'm really gonna utilize my dad being the car man that he is to help with this unit. So we're gonna learn so much about how to take care of a car. And by the time we're through with the unit, I think we'll know some basic things to do. And that's what I'm excited about. I think that is amazing when we can learn something that we're truly going to use in our lifetime. They also have core connections. If you're new to Campfire, the core connections is where they bring in the other subjects. And so the history part of the core connections is all about the industrial revolution. And that sounds amazing. And the language arts portion is about how to do well on a standardized test because we do have to test our kids sometimes in homeschool. So that part will be in there. And then throughout the unit, you're gonna get physics and chemistry and engineering and all those wonderful things. So definitely go check out the car maintenance unit if you're interested in it. Um, and I'll also, whenever I do get it printed off, I'm not sure when that's gonna be, I'll definitely do a flip through so you can see inside. But they're made for the whole family from your youngest to your oldest. It's made for everybody. So you wanna go check that out. So that's our first selective. The second thing that we're gonna use, and I'm very excited about this too, is we're also a gather around homeschool family. I have a ton of information about that on my channel if you don't know anything about it. Again, they're a unit study. They're made to be a core curriculum and that's exactly how we use them. But we are gonna use entrepreneurship as an elective, probably listed as business. I'm just kind of throwing out the ideas of what I could name this on a transcript and I'll probably put it as business. I took business in high school and I think this would be perfect for that. So this is entrepreneurship. I think I already have a flip through of this on my channel and if I do, I'll link it down below so you can look through it. But we'll just go through the, um, the table of contents. So this says it all starts with a problem, identify business opportunity, know your market, know your business, know um, now you need some money, starting a business, pricing, protecting your ideas, research and development, 
tons of things. There's 20 lessons. The car maintenance unit has 12 lessons. This one has 20 lessons. So we will work our way through this at some point during the year next year. And we are going to use all the components of it. So my son has the student notebook and yes, it says middle school, but um, where my son is and according to the levels that they recommend, middle school covers through age 15. So my plan is to let him use this for his ninth grade year. But this is where you find all the work that your child will be doing to go along with this unit. So he's gonna get his history, he's gonna get art, he's gonna get all those things um, are all in here. Science, everything is in here. And if you're not sure what all entrepreneurship covers, you can actually go on their app and you can print off, this is just the science that's covered because I was looking at science so we can make sure we meet our science um, standards here. But you can go on here and print the scope and sequence for the unit so you can see exactly what your kids are covering. So we're gonna work on that. I think the main point of that is they create a type of business by the time they're done. So that's exciting. And I also purchased the seat work journal. So if you don't know about these, this is just an extra place to get a little more grammar, to do some spelling practice, to do copy work. They're not with every one of the gather round units, um, mostly the newer ones. They don't talk about them in year form anymore. I used to say they're in the year three units. They don't, they don't call them that anymore. So just the newer units have these. You can look up seat work journals. And I'll just show you an example. You have the seat work, I mean the copy work, you have some spelling, and then you have vocabulary, and then you have grammar, and then you also talk about current events. I love these. These keep me on target, they keep me on track, they make sure that we get these things done. I love these. So that is, that's what we're doing for electives. Now to go with that, I don't have anything for the car maintenance, like extra things yet. But to go with entrepreneurship, um, our read aloud is going to be the Toothpaste Millionaire. And then my son will read on his own, Lone Boy. I like to give him just something a little bit easier um, and quick that he can read on his own. And then we always read one together and dive more into things like literary elements and vocabulary and all those fun things. And then I also found this. I love the peanut butter fish lessons. They have tons of free unit studies and they have one on Milton Bradley. And I, I feel like he's an entrepreneur. I mean, he, he came up with so many things. So we're gonna do the Milton Bradley unit study and this is kind of just worked on at any time, like no specific time in our day. So we have the Who is Milton Bradley book and we have this, you can get this free. So if you've never checked out peanut butter fish lessons, you need to go look at them because there are so many unit studies on there for free and so many great ideas. So that's what we're doing for electives. Um, if you have any questions about any of the things that I talked about today, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. You can also let me know what you're doing for electives because it always gives other people ideas to see them in the comments. I'm always looking through the comments on people's videos to get ideas. So make sure you leave me a comment. Thank you, Davine and Shauna for hosting this collaboration. And as always, thank you so much for watching.